is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, it's Brand, and I'm gearing up to love Hallmark Fall movies. And I'm Tyler Hines, standing in front of an attractive guy, asking him to podcast him. And this is the Deck the Hallmark podcast. Well, hello, everybody. Another month, another chat with Tyler Hines. It's becoming a monthly occurrence, and I'm not upset about it, Tyler. I don't know if you are. I don't know if you're sick of Bran yet, but but here we are. I never get sick of you, Bran. Well, I'll thank never you. Get sick of that. Thank you. The red background and your gorgeous self. Oh, thank you. Now we got. I uh, the last month you came for the uh, Christmas cues with Bran, and uh, yeah. we posted that on the line audio and video on youtube and some people on youtube uh thought that i interrupted you too much and i just want to tell those people (laughs) that's friendship 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 is just you know just interrupting each other right tyler are you are you mad no it's it's not a conversation unless you're doing that and to be honest it's a tough thing you know these podcasts you have a tendency to want to have a conversation but Inevitably, on, on the podcast medium, as you're familiar, talking over each other doesn't sound sexy on a podcast. So they felt something that was a syndrome of the medium, not of our friendship and our interaction, because ours is beautiful and pure. And how <laughs> dare they come for our friendship? That's right. How dare you? Uh, I, you, you, you record your conversations with your closest and see how it sounds. It's not like, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'll do better this time. I'll just stop talking um after yeah, this i think it's easy to have this kind of timber in your voice this kind of right. cadence right. which is like honey to your ears this yes. is this is a thing um it is a thing and uh it sounds so good to me uh tyler happy august almost september uh, i don't know when this yeah. is coming out maybe it is september uh, but you have a movie coming out uh and the people are very excited about it before we dive into that though um, last I spoke to you, which was in July, I was like, is, are we going to get a third Tyler Hines movie? Are we going to get a Christmas one this year? And at that point it was an, I don't know. Are you prepared to update the world on anything if there is an update to be had? No. Fair enough. <laughs> we will listen. Yeah, I thought. It's theirs. It's their. It's theirs to share. I am just a humble servant in the world of Hallmark, and uh, until they uh, tap me on the shoulder and say, "Go ahead, do your thing," I will shut my mouth. I'm gonna let the people out there decipher that sentence and make of right. it what they want to. Cryptic and mysterious. This is what we do here. That's Tyler Hines, though. That's on your uh, resume. Cryptic and mysterious. People are pretty confused by my social media posts, and I think that's probably because of that exact sentiment. I often wonder what the what the Heinies, the wonderful uh, group of Tyler Hines fans that um, uh, you know love you so much, but they must look at your Instagram stories and be like, "What? What is this guy? Like, what's he yeah. up to all the time?" Well. Uh, Tell me why you have that impression because I, I don't have a perspective on my Instagram. Well, I just, me, I see you on, on social media and you're, you know, one day it's a motorcycle picture of you in the, in the yeah. sunset. And the next day it's a, a video of you on the skateboard. And next it's a, you're smoking a cigarette, which I feel like must really throw the people for a loop. I just feel like they look at the, they see this guy and they're like, man, he's really, he's doing stuff. He's on, he's on the move. I think that's what people must think. He's on the move. Really? Because there's times where I just kind of go quiet for a while. Usually, I'll usually pace it out in that way where I just sort of follow whatever I want to do. But I'll go dark for, like, I don't think I've posted much in the last little bit. Is that is that, that intentional? Like is that it, like, I, I need to go dark for my own? Like, some people go away from social media because of mental health. Some people go away just because they get annoyed. Like, is it an intentional move on your part to just take some time and just be like, no one needs to hear from me right now? I had this conversation with a gentleman who is, I think, putting a piece together for 
some illustrious um, publication, very nice gentleman. Um, and we, we, his subject matter that he was trying to explore was this whole relationship of social media and these platforms and cameo and all these things and that relationship to celebrity or actors or artists or whoever, whatever you want to construction workers, whatever you want to call us. Um, and uh, yeah, we were talking about that. And for me, it's very simple. Um, not for mental health. Um, I feel like my mental health is in the gutter as it is without social media. Um, I'm kidding. But uh, yeah, I, I just, I treat these things like I would anything. Whatever I want to do, that's what I do. Whatever is respectful to the people around me, that's how I conduct myself. I treat it like it's an actual conversation with people. And I feel like if we were having a conversation and I was like, hey, Brand, look at this photo of me on my motorcycle. Hey, Brand, now look at this. Now look what this one I'm up to. And now watch this. And now let me tell you about this. Now let me sell you this. I feel like that would be a weird conversation to have. And so uh, I treat my presence sort of with that regard, like what is a natural thing and, and keep it in that realm. And if that's not posting anything, then I don't. If it's posting random stuff, then I do. So you're saying that relationships sometimes there's some interruptions when you're having a conversation. Is that what you're saying? I, naturally, that may take place. And in that circumstance, uh, I think it would be conducive if people were to be understanding of that particular circumstance, not naming any names, of no. course. You're not on Cameo, right? Uh, I'm not. They've been very lovely. They've reached out to me, and I've actually spoken to them quite a bit. I'm sure people have um, asked, right? People are wanting a, a shout out from Tyler Hines. Well, once in a while, you know, again, like I'm just a guy with a phone, you know? So if somebody somehow gets through to me and I see them ask me, you know, hey, this person has a birthday or this, you mean a lot to them or this movie means a lot to them and they'd love a video, then I try to do that to accommodate that where I can. But as soon as it becomes a bit of a, um, like a mechanism where there's money exchanging hands and these kinds of things. I, I tend to take that with a little more, um, consideration. Uh, I want all of these interactions, uh, whether it be my work or whether it be social media or whether it be, you know, a text message between handsome gentlemen like yourself, mm. um, mm. to just be sincere and, uh, and, and not feel disingenuous. And I think there's a bit of a, there is a danger in those things that perhaps that can go that way. I also cannot. I think it's just I haven't found my way to exist in that in that world yet where I would feel like it was uh, a fruitful experience for the other person. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking if of, it does make sense. Uh, I think we're in lockstep there. Um, in regards to the Heinies and interacting with them, you recently went to a thing. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Roma, Roma drama or Rama drama? Well, now that you put me on the spot, I don't have the answer either, to be honest. I, th I And I, I say this as nicely as possible. Either way, I don't like the name, but I like the event. I think <laughs> what they're doing is great. I wish they would have asked me. Like, I would have... I would have told them, let's keep brainstorming. But you went to this thing in Nashville, uh, and there's going to be other ones, I think, at some point. Um, and the Heinies got to come up and, and meet you. Was this the first thing you had done like an event like this because you were you, you weren't at christmas con 2019 right so is this the first thing since getting into the hallmark world where you were able to interact with fans like that uh face to face and if so what was that like for you the answer is yes that was the first time i've done anything like that um what was it like it was uh it was beautiful it was cathartic it was uh it was a really lovely experience. Um, I was he hesitant as for the aforementioned things that I just sort of mm -hmm. said about these interactions. And so with something like that, I want it to be, uh, I don't want it to be disingenuous. I don't want it to feel like a, um, I don't know, some sort of a, a machine that doesn't feel uh, personal and, and uh, fulfilling for the other person. And so I was hesitant. Um, and I spoke to the lovely folks uh, there who were running the event, and they were so sweet and so considerate of the event and the people who would be coming to that event that it uh, answered a lot of questions for me and put me in a place where I felt comfortable enough, specifically with them 
and their approach that uh, this might work. And so I, um, I did it and it was a learning experience. And I think, um, I think it, it proved to be a very worthwhile uh, endeavor. I think it made a lot of folks very happy. It made me very happy, certainly. Um, I got a lot of very lovely things and met a lot of very lovely people. Speaking of which, in fact, this is a, a shirt from, uh, okay. this is from one of the movies. I just found this in my buddy's garage. Maybe we'll give this away on this. If somebody wants Look to do that. something and you want to set that up, somebody can have this lovely blue jacket, uh, which I don't know which movie it's from, but as you can see, it's got number two on it, which is oh. what I'm known as on set. Always second best. You're always second best, and that's fair. Is that a winter jacket? I couldn't tell uh, how puffy and warm that was. It was fairly puffy and fairly warm. So, yeah, my guess is something fall, something wintery. Yeah. It was probably, this, oh, this might actually be 12 dates. I think I wore this a lot in 12 dates. That might be what this is from. Um, so if somebody wants this, then uh, heckle Bran and maybe shame him about his uh, conversational skills. And the winner with the most shaming can get this jacket. Okay. How do you, how's that sound? Here's what, here's what, here's what, we'll do. <laughs> uh, the person to email me the meanest email, yeah, we'll, we'll get it. Great. However, you, uh, however you want to abuse me with your words at this point, yeah, I'm numb really to Really go it. for the throat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, go for the throat. That's right. Uh, were you at all, you know, the, you were in the room though at Rama Drama Roma Drama with a lot of other, um, Let's just let's just pick one. Let's just let's establish one way of saying it. Pick one. Rama drama. Rom. Here's why I think it's Rama drama, because I think okay. it's playing off rom com, and not Rome, drome. Like that's not a thing. So Rama, drama. Yes. Like Rama. This is a, this is a sound thought process. I think we should go with that. That's okay. So <laughs> you were at Rama drama, and you were in the room with a lot of other. Let's just call them Hallmark hunks. There's a lot of guys out there that are really, are really there. You see them, and you're like, boy, that's a guy. I see him. Were yeah. were were you at all? Were you like, wow, I because uh, you're great, Tyler, but like you're no Ryan Pavey, and I say that no. with all the respect in the world. Like that guy looks like no. uh, he was. A street, like God spent a little extra time. Um, yeah. And, you know, I, I think it goes like Ryan pay V you. And then me, like, I think that's the, the, the order of how, you know, how long God spent on us. Uh, but were yeah. you like, boy, I, I'm just happy to be here at this point. Like I'm uh, Ryan Pavey's over there. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think they probably, God probably squeezed you and I in just before he punched out. No, I think I and I think I was squeezed we were in. A rush job. No, no, I don't think I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. I think everybody's going to agree. Uh, you know, some people might get mad at me. Brian at deckthehallmark.com. You can write that email. He might get a jacket. There you go. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Well, I, it sounded like a great event. I, I couldn't go, but it sounded like a wonderful time. I'm happy to get to do that. Uh, and hope you get to do more in the future if the world um, just calms down for just a second. Um, let's get to the Roadhouse. The Roadhouse Romance, is that what it's called? Correct. That's Straight another on. name Straight that on. I feel like uh, if anyone would have asked me, I would have been like, let's break it down a little more. What's that mean? What, well, I, I'm going to ask you, what's Roadhouse Romance mean? When you hear that name, does it make sense to you as to the, the point of it in regards to the film you made? Well, if you were to watch the movie, I will. the two things that you, you might witness is a roadhouse, and some romance. Well, there you go. So, aptly titled, perhaps. Perhaps perhaps it hit the nail right on the head. Right on the head. What's the movie that you've been in with Homer? Because Homer names are always just pretty on the nose. Like, what it is yeah. is what it is. What's the one that you think is the, the best name, like the most clever name that's not just what it is, but like maybe a little extra flair to it? Um, I have my answer. Well, the, oh, you do? Okay. Um, well, there's, there is an original, the original name of it was always you was something else. And the abbreviation of that gave me and Aaron quite a lot of joy. Um, cause this is how we see our scripts and how we have our production conversations, which is an, an abbreviated name. Um, I won't tell you what that is cause it's inappropriate. Oh no. But yeah, yeah. Uh, tiny something. Um, but it was, it was always you, I thought was nice. You know, they ended up changing it to that was 
aptly titled given the um the sort of adjustment that we ended up making on that story and and, and really sort of driving home this idea that the character had always uh loved her and you uh, say that line Christmas. correct you oh, yeah. say that line it was always you you say it in the movie what do I say? I feel like I say something slightly different, but it's basically that sentiment. Okay. Yeah. It was it was you yesterday. It's always been you. That's that's the that's the actual line. And then maybe it was scripted. It was always you. I may have I may have adjusted Dude, that. Dude, you sure messed it up. Appreciate it. They had this whole thing yeah. where they're like we're gonna change it. To it was always you. It's gonna be great. No one's gonna. No, <laughs> yeah. this is gonna be awesome. And then they saw it and they're like, you think, you think anyone will catch it? Do you think yeah, anyone think will anyone notice? Will notice? I sat down with Kathy and, and we had a conversation and we were talking about other projects other things that we we're talking about doing. And cause she's an incredible, incredible writer. And she mentioned something about uh, the fact that she felt like I was uh, a good writer. And I said, how would you know? You haven't read anything that I've written. She said, I watched your movie, my movie. Mm. So I know, I know what you do to my script. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, I felt very, very bad, but uh, also <laughs> loved it. She's, she's so sweet. <laughs> She's amazing. Um, but yeah, also it's Christmas, comma, Eve. Yeah, that's I mean, the one. That's a banger. That's I the mean, one. Any, any title that makes you pause while saying it. It's Christmas. It's got a... Eve. Yeah, exactly. That's great. I mean, that's pretty special. That's the one. That's the one. All right, Roadhouse so Romance. No, 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 yeah, uh, well, so it was, no, it was always you as mine. I'm not... No, sorry, 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 sorry. It's Christmas Eve. That's my favorite one. Uh, oh, okay. The name is just, it, it, it's perfect because her yeah. name's Eve. It's hilarious. Like it, it, makes, it makes me laugh. The fact that they did yeah. that, it's good. I, I, I'm a big fan of Christmas puns. And so anytime there's like some sort of play on it within the title, like her name's Eve, Christmas Eve's a thing. I think that's always a good time. So it's Christmas Great. Eve works across the board for me. I'm not sick of those well. yet. Um, Roadhouse Romance. Um, give mm -hmm. it, give it to me. What? Um, I'm not gonna ask you what it's about. Um, I'm gonna ask you an, a more uh, intriguing question, which is, oh, okay. um, you look back on this movie, filming it. Um, what is, uh, what word comes to mind as far as the experience that was creating Roadhouse Romance? What is that word, and why are you choosing that word? Hmm. <laughs> I have the word. Um, the word is dog. <laughs> the word is dog. Yeah, let's go with dog. Dog, because there's a dog in this movie. And the dog was a beautiful dog. But in the end of this movie, the dog was supposed to be there. But the dog was not there that day. And uh, we had to shoot the ending of this movie sans the dog and uh i hate the word sans why well, i just use that minus the dog um wait why do you hate sans i don't know things like that where i'm like why don't you just say a more common <laughs> word why, why you gotta flex on everybody with vernacular i don't like think this? sans is flexing i feel like it is anything that's just not the word just say the word you don't have to tap dance for us <laughs> um so sans <laughs> sans sans this aside that we just went on um the dog was supposed to be there in the last scene and uh wasn't I had a conversation with our director who explained to me that the dog was not there where was the and, dog uh i don't know at home chewing a bone probably well, i don't that, know the dog's got one job yeah i mean you don't know that you don't know how busy this dog is <laughs> that's fair that's fair that's fair he was on his other set oh uh, yeah he was he was busy on a Dwayne the Rock Johnson movie probably and that's um fair. and that's fair um so yeah we ended up having to I the director said what do you want to do and I said I don't know you're the director what do you want to do <laughs> and uh I said leave it with me I'll figure it out and then we figured it out and that was a fun fun little exciting moment to live on the edge with no dog so that was just the first thing that came to my mind it's not particularly profound no i love that but isn't that similar to what happened with in uh it was always you didn't the dog disappear in that movie too the dog uh, disappeared yeah that <laughs> dog disappearance was was planned i mean it wasn't like the dog is supposed to be here when you kiss aaron and the dog is not here that didn't happen so you're um, t you're telling me that the uh the dog 
and Roadhouse Romance was supposed to play a bigger role at the end of this movie? Just supposed to be there. Yeah. Just supposed to be there. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, again, this is just my own personal experience, right? And this is the first thing that came to mind. Let's pick another word that's more fun. How about beauty? Okay. How about, uh, how about uh, fall? How about um, uh, warmth? Those are all really, really great, but I like dog. Okay. I think I'll dog. I think that. dog. Dog works. Uh, it, it's fall, which is very exciting. I. I'll be honest, man. I could not be more over summer, from a season standpoint, from a Hallmark movie standpoint. I am just like I'm. I'm so geared up for fall. Like it's. A t- oh, it's God. tough for me to go from Christmas in July, where I'm. Uh, you know, it's hot outside, but at least I'm happy about it. You know, because yeah. I got my hot cocoa inside with the fire and stuff. But then to go back into August, like, I don't need reminders from Hallmark that it's hot and that I hate it. Like, I, I, if it was up to me, fall would be right at the beginning of August, and we would go from August to Christmas, uh, and it would be fall. I, and that's just me. I don't know if anybody else is in that ballpark. But, I mean, you're starting September 11th. What's, you know, what's another month tacked onto that? You know what I mean? Sure, why not? But you, I think that that that's sounds like a syndrome of where you live. It sounds like you're you're a little too toasty over there. So toasty, Tyler. It's so toasty. <laughs> you're just you're just waiting for those Christmas sweaters. I'm just yeah. That's all I want. All I want is to be able to wear your nice blue jackets that I will give to the person who wins it eventually after a couple wears. And uh, I yeah, want I to... Say, do, do you want this jacket? You yeah, want I mean, maybe. Right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I take it back. No one that sent me emails. <laughs> it's mine. Uh, I just want to wear it and not uh, feel like I'm like standing next to Satan. Like, that's how it would feel. Yeah. The warmth. Yeah. And I don't want that. I'm just ready for fall. I mean, that makes sense. I understand where you're coming from. Fall movies, though, in Hallmark seem like they're uh, enjoyable. Do you get like do you do you enjoy the fall scenery, the leaves, and the pumpkins and the the nice ciders and stuff? Like, does that do anything for you? Yeah, you asked me this before about Christmas and stuff, and, uh-huh. and I suppose a lot of the answers that people would give would be like, yeah. And I guess that is the case. Like, there are times on these movies where you take in your surroundings and you are kind of transported, and it feels nice. And I suppose fall would be in that. There's a lot of leaves on the ground, and they. They decorate entire streets and stuff, and that is nice. But um, to be perfectly honest, sometimes I'm just so focused on what I'm doing, I don't, I don't necessarily have the time to be looking around in, in that capacity. But, but yeah, no, you know what? I take that back. There's times when they get the snow machines going, and I right. feel like this is an interesting moment. And same with same with fall. Yeah, this one they they they, were the, they went for it on this one too, which is nice. When did you film this? When did you film this one? Uh, shoot, we did the two of them. We did Sweet Carolina and this one back to back whenever that was. July oh, shoot, that's June. right. You, this is, this yeah. is, this is the, uh, third already. The third Tyler Hines movie of the year. Oh, yeah, I guess if it was always you counts as this year, yeah. But that it one, does count as before. this year, yeah. seeing as okay. how it came out this year. Uh, right. so Thank I you. misspoke earlier. So I'll ask it again. Are people wanting the fourth uh, Tyler Hines movie, a uh, Christmas movie? Is that, is that happening? <laughs> nice job. Let's see what you did there. You tried to misdirect me back into it. Well done, Brian. That's Not this it. time. Listen, they don't call me the uh, who's a, who, the Go Anderson ahead. Cooper of Hallmark. There we go. The Barbara Wawa. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, so Roadhouse Romance coming out September 11th, uh, kicking off Fall Harvest, which I feel like is a is a it's a pretty big responsibility uh, to kick off Fall Harvest because it's a pretty big season for Hallmark. Um, but what what are you are are do you do you do you have a feeling, you know, after you get done filming a movie, do you have a feeling like yeah, this one's gonna be real a real good one, and if so, do you have that feeling about this one? This guy, this guy's trying to, this guy's just laying traps everywhere. <laughs> um, I feel like, look, every one of these movies is its own adventure with its own sort of um, hurdles and 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 assets and and uh, strengths and weaknesses and all those things. And and I just, from my position as an actor, um, I can only handle so much. I can only influence so much. I can handle myself and try to contribute where I can. So 
Um, how these things turn out is usually outside of my hands. Um, what ends up on camera sometimes is, is somewhat, uh, uh, sorry, in, in final movie can be quite different from what we ended up doing or what my experience of it was. So who knows? But did I enjoy making the movie? Absolutely. There's some very lovely people involved. And um, did we do some nice things? I think so. Uh, there's a Mustang, a beautiful Mustang in the movie, Ooh, which is nice I to love look at. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like a Mustang car. Oh. That's on me. <laughs> that's on me. Yeah. That's on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's okay. I, I understand why you went there. But I you mean, like that's a specific thing to say you, a Mustang if I was riding a horse. You like horses, though. Yep. Sure. Yep. So my mom's got some horses. Um, so I wasn't far yeah, off. We had, no, no, you're not wrong. You're just also not right. Um, yeah. <laughs> feel free to blast them in the emails with that. Uh, I mean, I'm giving everybody a lot of opportunity to make fun of me. This is good. Uh, so this is good. There's a jacket up for grabs, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to tell there you. There you go. Um, before I segue I out of fall, I wanted to play a quick game of this or that fall edition um, sure. with you. Uh, and I found one online uh, that I think is especially ridiculous. Uh, with the questions that it's asking. I always feel like with these this or that quizzes that are online, I'm always just like, in what world are these two pitted up against each other? It doesn't make any sense for me to choose. Like, it's, in some cases it does, like uh, like shoes or flip-flops. Like, I have a decision. But, like, when they don't ma when, they, when they're not even related, it's like a, a weird thing. And so there are some interesting ones on this one. Um, such as this, like, this such do as you like apples or trees. Yeah, right. That's not, they're not, it's not a thing. Um, so this or that is, is, uh, and here's the first one bonfires or football games. That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> A bonfire at a football game. There you go. The football field, even. You are you're uh you're out thinking the room here, Tyler. I like that. Uh, um, yeah. would you like to have a day of apple picking or uh go on a hayride? Apple picking. I, I like can't apple. imagine a world where you, as an adult, is just going for a hay ride willingly. Well, they have hay rides like haunted hay rides. That's cool. Okay. Well, then let's change it up. Apple picking or haunted hay ride. Haunted hayride yeah. while eating an apple. <laughs> um, trick or treating or carving a pumpkin? Trick or treating. When was the sure. last time any, you carved a up. pumpkin? That's the thing is it's not it's not as enjoyable as one might think. It's not. Um, but tormenting children on a specific day of the year where anything goes is quite a gift, I would say. How about this instead of people sending me mean emails? Because I, I, I thought more about it. I don't know if I can handle it. Yeah. How about yeah, we yeah. do a, a pumpkin carving competition? Sure. And that's if, a good idea. if somebody carves a pumpkin with me and Tyler next to each other, our faces, just imagine that pumpkin, Tyler, for a second and how wonderful I can. it would be. Sure, you could, just do, you could just do Tyler's face and that'd be fine. But I th bonus points. If it's both of us. Yeah, I think you and I cheek to cheek on a pumpkin would be something to behold. It would. It would. Um, a ghost or wizards? These are two very different things. Yeah. Uh, a wizard. No explanation. <laughs> none, none needed, Tyler. None needed. Uh, a candy apple or a, a caramel apple, a caramel. What's a candy apple? I think those are the ones that are like dipped in some sort of a hard shell oh. crust. And a and a caramel apple is is strictly caramel. Well, I guess, but that gets hard too. Uh, honestly, neither sound too fun to me. But if I had to pick, I'd probably go caramel. How about this one for you, Tyler? Leaf jumping or leaf crunching? Uh, I don't even know what to do like, with that. Like jumping over a leaf? We're talking I, about jumping into leaves. I think it's jumping into... Okay, this is what I think they're getting at. It's Rama drama. I think they're going with jumping into leaves or like walking through the woods and hearing the leaves crunch. Yeah, I mean, jumping in sounds like a, a blast. Walking on leaves 
I mean, there is a good crunch. You do catch a good crunch now and again, and that's quite rewarding. It's like stepping on thin ice. It's got the value. Yeah. That's it for this or that, but I will ask you this. Are you a pumpkin spice latte fan? Do you like pumpkin-flavored things? There's a big craze, at least here in America, where it's all pumpkin all the time from now until uh, uh, Christmas, really. So are you in on that? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. I mean, pumpkin pie was always confusing to me, but I, I smelled pumpkins, and I didn't see how that would ever end up in someone's mouth. But from what I understand, it's quite tasty. I think I've had it once, and it was filled with sugar and butter, and that kind of sealed the deal. Mm. But, uh, yeah, pumpkin pumpkin spice latte, sure. Have you had one? You don't seem confident. I think I have. It's not uh, – apple cider uh, – Apple cider, hot apple cider is probably something I would reach for first. I see. So if if I had pumpkin spice or apple cider in the this or that game, you'd say apple cider. Yes. You can put whiskey in it and then you have a hot toddy. Dude. Count me in. I uh, yeah. love that. You know what's also good? You know the little uh, red hots? The little red hot candies? You know those? Like little, no. little circular, uh, they're just called red hots. They're like spicy cinnamon. So what you yes. do is you throw some Red Hots into a, a, a pot with some apple juice. You heat it up. It melts the, uh, the hot cinnamon. And then you can also throw in some, uh, some spirits if you so desire. And, uh, Interesting. That's real, that's real like good. Sounds like I love it. Just sounds come like on. your insulin goes through the roof. Well, yeah, but it's fall. Like I, I think quarter four – and this is at least how I operate, but quarter four is uh, the rules are out the window. Like, yeah, it doesn't apply. Yeah. You're warming up to Christmas, which is just full melee. Yeah. Just that's chaos. Right. That's right. Uh, Tyler, I won't keep you much longer, but roadhouse romance coming out September 11th. Very excited about it. I always love having you on the show. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you, uh, in, in this, uh, interview with, uh, however you want to, whether it's, Speaking directly to the fans or, um, you know, sharing some, uh, you know, like Christmas movie related news or however you want to do it. However you want to, uh, you know, wrap this sucker up, you can do it now, uh, especially uh, if it's Christmas related. Okay. Okay. A lot of pressure here. Um, well, here, I feel like I took off my jacket with a purpose and that purpose never got to. So it just seems weird that I took my shirt off. This is something from Roma drama. Roma drama. Roma drama. Me. Yes, this is um, a gift from somebody, which is very lovely. And uh, I think when you asked me that question, I took off my jacket for this purpose. So I um, just wanted to clarify that. So that's not weird. What and does that say there? As, Stur what does it say? This is a Harley Davidson shirt. Oh, wow. Look at that. How do you feel about that? Bro? <laughs> that's really that's really uh, that's really something. American baby. Yeah, I never I thought it. I'd see you rocking a shirt with an American flag on the back. Oh yeah, I got a jacket with an American flag on the shoulder. Love America. But but the shoulders, uh, the shoulder, the full back is is a decision. Like a, a yeah. shoulder is like, okay, that guy likes America like the rest of them. But the back is like, this guy is all all American, and you're not. Yes, yeah. you're Canadian. No, I'm all Canadian. You're all Canadian. Yeah. Yes, I'm all I'm all in on the Canadian. But as far as what to say to end it up, uh, I mean, speaking to the fans directly, I, something I it sounds weird because I'm talking to you and you're here, and that would be strange. But I will say, um, imagine I'm a fan. Oh yeah, okay. Well, dear fan, here's because I, I just happen to be doing this. Why don't I? Uh, this seems to be a thing here. Where are you off to? Since we have this shirt, look. This is something that one of the lovely fans at Rama Drama made for my dog. Oh my gosh. He says, just to even out the America, we got Canada Pooch. It's a small hat for all the people who are just listening. I know it's not inappropriate, but Canada Pooch sounds inappropriate. Does it not? It sounds in what way? I don't know. I hear it and I and I it just makes me feel uh feel like a, a little icky. Like you shouldn't have said that out loud. I know it's just it's probably just me. But Canada Pooch. Get your get your mind out of the gutter. Um, this is also a hat that someone provided me, which is very beautiful. Um, what else we got here? Man, that's a, yes. oh, look at that. 
she's the greatest. We had a nice photo together. I uh, I love I I love the idea of you walking around the city with a, a a hat that just says King on it. Yeah, it seems like it'd be a little bold. Be a little, <laughs> it is little, bold. Little, it is, you have to be very confident. Yeah, but you could also just say like I'm not saying I'm the King. Like I want you to read that and be like, you know what? I'm the King. Like you want to tell other people they're King. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see what you're doing. Yeah. 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 That's that's the way to look at it. But I'm not sure that that's the way it would be perceived. No, I don't think um, so either, but I'm just trying to help in this regard. <laughs> yeah. So what you're trying to say um, is your fans are great, is what you're trying to show us. Well, what I was just doing prior to us getting on here is I, I was taking all the, going through everything, because it's been a bit of a whirlwind for me, and I laid everything out because I'm, I'm going to do a post where I share with everybody all the lovely things that they gave me so they feel like those things were appreciated and seen, and, and they are very much so. And so you just kind of caught me in the middle of that, and little beautiful things like this this is a, a woman named charlotte and um a lovely lady named debbie reached out to me a while ago months ago maybe even a year ago uh when charlotte was in hospice and she was uh struggling um very very sweet and, and debbie had told me that she was a fan and so i to your question about cameo and these things i sent her a video um to charlotte saying hi and uh and um, Debbie told me at this convention that Charlotte would keep pulling up this photo of me that Debbie had on her phone where I was shirtless and my pants were riding a little bit low on my torso. And, <laughs> and Charlotte kept giving the photo and kept trying to swipe the photo so that she could see more <laughs> of, of the photo. But of course, technology doesn't work this way. Um, so was she trying to undress you with swipes? Charlotte was 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 being naughty. Charlotte uh, has since moved on. Oh. Uh, rest in peace, Charlotte. You're a lovely lady, but this book is a very beautiful book, and this is, I, I think, the story of of Charlotte's life. And looking forward to reading that. And Charlotte so, has a book about were, her life. I think so. Yeah, I asked Debbie a little bit about what what exactly this. What's was. it called? Like, Call me Charlotte Shocky. Here. Yeah, let's find out what that is. What's the back? Can you read the back for us? Does that give us a little something? Yep. Consider this a personal letter to the generation to follow after me. This is aptly described because I might be considered that generation. However, I want you to. It is my opinion that there are important things in life. Two that are important to me. One is your roots and the other is your spirit. I'm giving you an insight about your roots, but as for your spirit, well, you will have to sprout your own wings. If I have helped one person live easier, I feel I have been a success in my life. My favorite Bible verse is, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. Proverbs 3, 6. I feel fortunate that I know Christ, he gives me my life purpose and a reason for living. This is a present. This He is a present help to me, and he is the same yesterday as he will be tomorrow. Almost sounds like one of the lines I said, and it was always you. Uh, how thankful I am that my faith is in a never-changing God. I thank God for his incredible gift. This is not a journal of my life. Rather, it is a chronicle of memories I have of my life, my thoughts and events of the family as I can remember them. I want to acquaint my next generation with the members of the past. We have a wonderful heritage. What a beautiful thing. Thank you, Charlotte. Thank you, Debbie. It was a pleasure to get to know you a bit, Charlotte. And Debbie, thank you for um, for sharing that with me. I've, this uh, is like an example, I, yeah. I've never wanted to know someone more than, than, than old Shockey. Like yeah, I, I got a video on my phone. Yeah, I got a video on my phone of her singing um, a song. It was, um, shoot, what was the song? It's a beautiful song. It was incredibly touching when she sang it and sent it to me. She told me she wanted to send to me when she was still with us. Wow. Beautiful thing, man. And so to your question about how the experience was with Roman drama, I think that kind of sums Rama. up one of. Rama. Yes. Excuse me. Go Apologies. ahead. Continue. Sorry. Sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> this is just one of the of, of the very lovely stories that people were 
for sharing with me and uh it's a beautiful beautiful thing and i think a nice um experience especially in the last year or so so to answer that question that was 10 years ago there's a little bit of some random things that i pulled out of a beautiful box and for the fans um or the folks who met me there i'll be posting something which will show you all that i very much appreciate everything you guys gave i love that. a lot I love that. And yeah. I don't want to let this pass by. Uh, Tyler said that when in scripture, when uh, it says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and tomorrow, um, uh, Tyler saying that it was always you is right there with scripture. With the, what, is that what you're right. That's what you're getting at? This is what you're trying to do. Is, is you like the Howard Stern of there we go. Mark podcast. There we go. You just try to stir the pot. And you're again, trying to get everybody all riled up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, they'll get riled up. <laughs> they will. Once you start saying that it was always easy to go to scripture, they will get riled up. Well, I didn't say it, friend. You, you did. I, I would never, Tyler. I would never say that. Tyler, I'm going to let you go. Um, this is so much yeah. fun. I can't wait for Roadhouse Rama September 11th, and I can't wait for your Christmas movie, which is starring uh, you and... Uh, and you. It's called Christmas Bromance. Me Ooh. and you. Cheek to cheek, buddy. Hallmark, Hallmark, you won't. You won't let us do that movie. You won't. Who says? Who says? I don't know. I don't Dreams know. Dreams come true. Dreams come true, Brian. And I got a dream. It's not a movie. It's not a, it has no plot. It's just us just spending Christmas together. That's it. I mean, cheek to cheek. Cheek to call cheek. It Christmas, cheek to cheek. <laughs> and we don't, we don't specify which cheeks we're referring to. We'll just leave that suspenseful. Well, may we be the first to wish you a Merry <laughs> Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast. It's presented by Philo TV. It's produced by Brandon Gray and recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. Set decor is by Plum at Haywood Mall. For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast network, you can go to bramblejampodcast.com. <laughs>